Hey, and I guess welcome to my first video. Uh, I thought a really nice way to introduce myself and the kind of videos that I'm going to be making would be to give you a quick wardrobe tour. Um, should give you a really nice idea of my individual style, the pieces I've collected over the years in my uh, slow fashion journey, for want of a better term. I want to talk about my personal approach to a sustainable wardrobe or slow fashion, however you want to come at it. Um, as well as general aspects of slow living and that lifestyle, how I've kind of slowed down over the last year or two especially, and also to highlight some amazing British brands that tend to fly under the radar. I want to get the inevitable things out of the way early and just say that if you do enjoy this video at any point, please hit the like button to let me know. Um, and if you hit subscribe, then you can expect to see a few more videos coming out soon about my, as well as I said, my sort of personal approach to everything. So I want to dive straight in here and talk about the actual shelves that my wardrobe is to start with. Uh, these are manufactured by a company called Vitsu, named after their Danish founder, but they do manufacture here in England and have done for, I actually don't know how long, I should, should probably do a little bit more research before I do these. It's called the 606 system, which from memory means that it was designed in 1960 and it's, it was the sixth design to be designed in 1960. 60. It was designed by Dieter Rams. Um, Dieter Rams, if you aren't aware, is a product designer um, whose influence probably goes way further into everything that you actually might realize. I'm not going to talk a huge deal about that because you just need to watch the Gary Hustwick Rams documentary. It's amazing. Um, but anyway, uh, unchanged design since the 60s, completely modular, universal shelving. You can grow and shrink a system as you need to, but mine is simply made up of a couple of shelves, a hanging rail, which doubles as a top shelf as well, and the space on the floor underneath. Underneath is where I store my shoes. Um, I don't have many shoes, sort of four or five pairs. There's a handmade pair from Noble and Wiley. Dana boots for walking, a vintage pair of Versace loafers for sort of those great spring summer looks um, oh, and running shoes as well uh, not a huge runner but I like having the right gear or at least having one thing that does that job really well next to the shoes I keep my bags so there's the backpack which um, is mostly just used for hiking a couple of sort of shoppers from Filson and Charlie Borrow and canvas which are just nice day-to-day -day bags or when I need to carry a few things with me like my laptop and then finally the little leather pouch again from Charlie Borrow which is just great for when I'm out and about without a coat on and I need somewhere to chuck keys, wallet, phone. On the first shelf up here, you can see that I've got my socks and underwear in little canvas containers from Muji. Um, obviously not the most exciting thing to talk about. But you can see here an attempt at darning that I did looks a little bit like a kid trying to color in between the lines but it's actually really relaxing to do it's so easy and it costs like a quid to get the stuff you need to do it and it's super relaxing underwear is a mix of sunspell and rosenbrook uh, rosenbrook's a company i found fairly recently making everything in a little uh, solar powered factory in yorkshire which is super cool Basics can be pretty boring, um, but that's actually probably a video I might do quite soon anyway, sort of a, a way to buy basics and have fun with it. And then after that, we move up a shelf to probably my favorite shelf, which is the knitwear. Um, I absolutely love knitwear, but I do run hot a lot of the time, so I can rarely wear it until we get deep, deep into winter. Um, and then I try and wear it for as long as possible. So I actually only have the uh, super thick sweater here from SEH Kelly. I think it's like 10 ply lamb's wool. Um, absolutely incredible. Uh, then there's a cardigan from Universal Works, which is my go-to little lounging around piece. And then we've got the gray vest from Margaret Howell, as well as the navy, well, French blue, dark blue, blue cashmere sweater. Um, these are great for sort of lighter knits and great pieces for layering as well like to keep these little um, cedar wood pouches in as protection against moths. Not something I've had a massive problem with, but I don't know, looking after things seems to be better than trying to fix them afterwards. Most of the clothes are stored here on the rail. 
Um, I'm probably just going to shut up for a minute and let the video play through so you can see these. the back of the rail I keep my sort of heavier layering shirt one from Uskies which is this green work shirt and the palette life story jacket and finally I just have one suit which is this sort of wool number from Universal Works it's casual enough to wear normally um, and it's also formal enough to wear if I need and if I do need to go super formal for a suit I'll just rent one now up on the top shelf I've just got this these two scarves from um, Holly Ward who's a weaver down in London if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen me talk about her work a lot because I absolutely love it you might also just be able to see one of Holly's jackets in the reflection of the mirror over there um, and then there's also a little bit of space up here for the winter accessories, which are, right now they're down by the front door in a little organizer. I have one pair of running shorts and one top. Um, as I said, I'm not a huge runner. There's also a small closet. In there I keep a couple of things for lounging, like these dungarees, as well as all of my outerwear. Uh, I just try to keep one coat by the front door at all times, which tends to be the Mac, just to stop the front entrance looking too cluttered. And finally, I ha just have the one pair of pajamas, which are great for lounging around on a lazy Sunday with coffee. Um, which is essentially 90% of my Instagram content. And with that, we've just about made it through my wardrobe tour and my first video, which is quite exciting for me. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. Um, if you did enjoy the video, I'd love it if you'd hit the little like button. Um, obviously subscribe if you want to see what videos I've got coming up for you next. Got some really fun ideas. If you have any questions about my approach or any ideas or things that you want to see, then please start a conversation down in the comments. I would love that. Or head on over to my Instagram and say hi there as well. Um, I guess all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. And um, until then, bye. Say bye. Say bye to everybody.